Linda DeSau. She's in the studio with us this morning. Linda DeSau, good morning. Good morning, Neil. Now, I know you're a hard marker on yourself. If you, When you look back after five years as governor, what would you like to have achieved? Well, I'd hope that I'd been regarded as a, a 21st century governor, a governor for our times, that I had uh, embraced the whole of the Victorian community right across the state, that young people were engaged with the role of the governor. And uh, if I were really lucky at that time, I would feel that I'd achieved something in helping us all feel uh, that there's more that unites us than divides us. Will you be public in the sense of speaking publicly regularly and perhaps even doing interviews? I might even do interviews. I think I might be doing one right now, Neil. Yeah, but you're not governor yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't have anything against the concept of people understanding the role of the governor because I think that the governor's so uniquely placed to understand what's happening right across our wonderful state, and that's something I should be sharing with people. Well, I'd welcome you and, and say now, any time you want to come on the program as governor, just let us know, and you're, you're more than welcome. I think it's a good idea to open. It's a difficult mm -hmm. path to, to walk, though, isn't it, because you can't be political. Yeah, it is. And uh, like in everything, Neil, I think I'll be striving to find the right balance. Um, but I hope I can find that because I do think it's important work and, and I do think that it's useful for people to know about that important work. In your work as a family court judge, you would have seen this and I, I know you're well aware of it. Is it possible for the governor to get involved in such an issue, say like domestic violence, because we're trying so hard to uh, to break ground, new ground on domestic violence? Would that be an acceptable area for you to speak? Um, I think it is. I certainly wouldn't immerse myself in any political aspect of that, but there are aspects of a problem like that uh, that are in no way political. They're just they're just people problems. Um, and if I've had the um, benefit, if I can call it that, of nearly 30 years in courts seeing what happens as a result of family violence, I don't think it's something I'd want to pretend I know nothing about. Are we getting anywhere? Do you see any answers? I do. I do. I mean, I think the, the fact that Rosie Batty is Australian of the Year and that people are talking about the issues is a very good start uh, because I think for too long it was like a silent problem and it shouldn't be a silent problem because it's one that actually uh, belongs to all of us and unless we all take action, it's not something that will ever be fixed. Are there other issues do you think you'll be able to address as Governor? Yes, I hope so, because I wouldn't like to spend five years not addressing anything meaningful. Um, look, I, I've said before, a lifetime in the courts has taught me how important it is for young people to be resilient, and I know to be resilient they need a sense of belonging, and I know for a sense of belonging they need to be respected and diversity needs to be respected and people need to be socially included. And in fact, Neil, it's one of the motivators for all the work I've done in football because I think football's a wonderful vehicle. For example, it's just one, but a wonder, wonderful vehicle for young people to be engaged. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Melbourne. Hmm. What, what, your parents from Australia? No, like lots of other Australians. I have one parent who was born overseas and uh, he told me from the time I can remember how very lucky he was to be here and how very lucky we were to be growing up here. So that's firmly etched in my mind. Extremely high achieving person. Are you a feminist? Um, well, I believe in, in equality for everybody. So if that qualifies me as a feminist, I'm very happy to say I am. But I, I really, I, I like a fair go for everybody. And I also feel strongly that women do make up half the population. So if we take them out of the talent pool, we really are detracting from our own resources. Well, it's taken us a while to get to the first female governor. It has, and you know, one day in our lifetimes, there's going to be so many women in so many roles that it will become absolutely unremarkable. Until then, I understand the interest, of course, but um, I think once women get into these roles, we need to judge them on their work and not their gender. Well, I don't think there's any, any, what did you think when you were first approached? What I, was your immediate reaction? My immediate reaction was, I would love to do that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Live in the big house? Uh, no, it wasn't the big house that attracted <laughs> me, actually. It was the concept that here's a role where you can just work across so many different community issues. And I think you know me well enough to know that I'm genuine when I say that that's something that uh, interests me so, so passionately. You're going to miss the AFL, aren't you? I am going to miss the AFL. I'm going to miss all the organisations I'm involved with, but I'm comforting myself with the thought that not only will I still be able to engage with them, but my horizons will just keep on expanding.
I think one of the requirements when you become governor, though, is you give up uh, support for the Essendon Football Club. Well, um, for eight years now, I've been deeply in love with 18 football clubs, so that's easy. <laughs> oh, you're still an Essendon supporter, aren't you? Well, I, I, you can't actually escape your birthright. But um, apart from that, I, I was quite seriously, once you're on the AFL Commission, you're so engaged with what's going to be best for those 18 clubs. It's not very hard to just love footy generally. I thank you very much for your time. Uh, do you have grandchildren, by the way? No. Not yet, because the, the kids <laughs> love the big house. Some of the governors have told me about how you play hide-and-seek up there. It's marvellous. OK, well, I'll try to work on that. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Bye. Linda Dessau, the next governor of Victoria.